everybody, Pastor Russ here, and I just want to welcome you to day number 12 of the great COVID lockdown. I hope y'all are doing well and you're getting along fine. We're going to have a stretch of blue sky here over the next couple days, warmer temperatures, so go out and enjoy that weather. Sit on your porch, sit on your back deck, drink a, a nice cold glass of iced tea or a soda or just some water or whatever you want, and just enjoy the beautiful weather. Hey, yesterday we talked about John chapter 13 where Jesus... Jesus watched the disciples' feet. We learned some great lessons from that. I really hope some of you are, 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 are praying on who your uh, Judas is and how you can go and wash their feet. I think it would be a wonderful testimony to the greatness of God and how he uses this time when we're kind of all sequestered in the house about how one of the saints reached out and found that one person who was their Judas, and they washed their feet and led them to Jesus. I just think that would be an awesome thing. But today we're going to skip into the next chapter. We're going to look at cha John chapter 14. Now this is an interesting chapter because John went from teaching them an object lesson on servanthood uh, in yesterday's passage to today he is now comforting the disciples because they're a little concerned. They're a little freaked out. They're fretting, kind of like some people are doing around the world uh, with this COVID virus. So they're, 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 they're uh, right where we're we're at okay and so uh, if you turn in your Bibles to John chapter 14 we're gonna start in verse 1 Jesus says do not let your hearts be troubled trust in God trust also in me in my father's house there are many rooms if it were not so I would not have told you I am going there to prepare a place for you and if I go to prepare a place for you I will come back and take you to be with me that you may also go where I am you know the way to the place where I'm going. Isn't that a beautiful section of Scripture? Now, here's the great thing about this. They're fretting. They're frustrated. They're scared. They don't understand why Jesus is talking like it's the end. And Jesus is basically telling them, like, guys, listen. Before I came here as a baby, and now I'm 33 years old or so, guess what? I was already back home with the Father building each one of you a room. I got this. Don't worry about it. Don't fret. Don't let your hearts be troubled. And isn't that a great lesson for us all today? I mean, even if we didn't have this COVID-19 virus on uh, going on, isn't that just a great lesson? Because, you know, problems don't stop just because there's a virus going on. People have mar marriage issues. People have job issues. People have issues with their kids. People have issues with their relatives. People have money issues. People have issues with sin. There are so many things going on. And Jesus tells them, I mean, their issue right now is, is not trusting. And he tells them, like, listen, guys, don't, don't fret. Don't be troubled. Don't let this pain your hearts. I got this. I've got your back. I love it. I think it's one of the most beautiful sections of Scripture that we could really hang on to during this Passion Week. But then Jesus does something amazing. Jesus, after he tells them not to fret, not to freak out, not to worry, and not to let their hearts be troubled, he tells them in verse 16 of chapter 14. Let's turn there. He tells them this. He says, And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another counselor to be with you forever, the Spirit of truth. Isn't that amazing? So he tells us in the first section of Scripture, don't, don't worry about it. Don't let your hearts be troubled. I went, and, I went and built your rooms a long time ago, way before you were even born. It's all good. I got this. And then he goes at the, almost the end of the chapter and he says, I know you're still kind of fretting. I, I'm going to leave this place here pretty soon. But don't worry. I'm going to ask the Father to send you a counselor, capital C, a counselor. He's going to send you the Spirit capital S, of truth. He was talking about the indwelling of the Holy Spirit in the book of Acts. So he's telling them, hey, don't fret. You're good. We got you. And by the way, I'm going to send somebody to take my place. What two beautiful promises that we can take through this Passion Week as we learn more about Jesus and why he did what he did on the way to the cross. Hey, we love you. We will see you tomorrow. Tune in for day number... 13 of the great COVID lockdown. Love you. See you guys. Give me a thumbs up if you want me to keep going. Mm -hmm.